Yo, Steve. Yo. Steve, hey. I'm working here. You're gonna get the vlog up today or what? It's Dunk Tip Tuesday, That's boy. That's what I'm, um, I, I'm working on it as we speak. People are waiting. If you keep interrupting, I can't do anything, so. You know it's Dunk Tip Tuesday? I'm well aware it's Dunk Tip Tuesday. It's Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk bro. Tip Tuesday, I know. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Dunk Tip Tuesday, yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk, dunk Tip Tuesday, yeah. Boy, you don't wanna jump. Dunk, dunk Tip Tuesday. I know, it's a good vibe. It's a freaking bumper. Bro, dude. quit joking around. Get it done. Uh -huh, you, I mean, I'm, okay. Don't Nobody do cares about your vlogs. Mm, well, I, look, I like to document. You've been documenting everything. Nobody cares. I like to document for myself. Bro, get others to dunk. Teach them how. I'm showing them through my, my journey. I'm showing them what I'm doing so they can... Why are you doing clone videos when you should be doing Dunk Tip Tuesday? You're 50% of the clone... Actually, 100% of the clone videos. Without you, I'm nothing. Why did you lose nine inches of bounce? Injuries. Setbacks. Bro, give up already. I Never, dude. It's a mindset. It's a lifestyle. It's my... Yeah. I mean, it sounds like excuses to me. It's not an excuse. It's just me go... It's just this. It's just... I mean, but come on. It's just a mountain. Sometimes the mountain... You fall and you go. But you have to climb. It sounds like excuses to me. It's motivation. It's inspiration. People love that energy. They love it. Do you feel delusional? Sometimes I feel delusional, but it's fine. Why are we... Why are... What are we even doing? Why are we even doing anything? I, I mean, I have no idea. That's the best point you've made. I I literally think about that when I wake up. What's the earth doing? What are we doing on it? We're crawling around. There's a fireball. There's like rocks and the moon spinning around it all over. Yeah, the moon actually doesn't go like this. It goes all over the place. You're not your body. And I think, what am I doing with my skin? Why do I care about my skin so much? I'm like so much more in my skin than my senses. We have five senses. But I love that energy. I love giving people the energy. Oh, you're so great. We want to hear. Oh, Steven, we love your energy. We love. We want to hear more. Yeah, we want to hear. Yeah, sure. Is that? Oh, please yell at us some more. Oh, we love when you yell at us. I, I'm not trying to yell. I'm just. I just get. I get excited. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Yeah. All we do is dunk. Dunk Tip Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Dunk Tip Tuesday. No, my bird is going up. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Dunk Tip Tuesday. You know I do it for my subs. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Dunk Tip Tuesday. And I ain't never given up. This Dunk is it, Tuesday. baby. We're making beginner gains because we're overcoming this injury Dunk every Tuesday. week, making progress, feeling amazing. But it's been a long time coming. Are you willing to overcome any obstacle that comes in your path during this dunk journey? Are you willing to be patient? Are you willing to make those tough decisions of what your body needs now? That's the art of training. How good are you at making those decisions and stimulating what your body needs to respond? That's the name of the game. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to push our body to those next limits, but our body wants to just keep us safe. Our biology does not want to go into the unknown. We have fears. We have doubts. Can you overcome them? That's what it's about. That's what it's all about in the freaking dunk life. And that's what we're doing today. Tuesday. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Yo. Great week of work so far today. I woke up with insane energy. We live for these days. It's not every day like this. Even yesterday, I was just feeling like, I don't know what I'm doing, but today, woo. So I headed to the gym to go dunk, keeping it just optimal, meaning I'm going to do what I need, focus on the drop step, the stand still, focus on what I want to do and not just go nuts and lose my mind, but I still do that inside, but I channel it.
All right, so the second after this dunk session, I went right to stretching, which is one of the hardest times because I'm fatigued. I don't feel like putting in more work, but I really need to because this is a really optimal time for my body to go back to tightness because I just compressed it by jumping on it. So I really have to lengthen. I'm doing downward dogs, looking shredded as can be, focusing on pushing my hips high. It's really hard for me to even keep my heels down and keep my back in the right position. So I just do these loaded beast type positions and slowly just kind of use my legs as a lever to keep pushing my hips higher and higher now I'm doing the pigeon stretch here just really trying to hit my hips my hips are incredibly tight so I have to hit them right after I dunk right before I dunk all the time just stay on them because over the years of my training I've made them so tight and inflexible that I have to really stay on them to really carve new patterns I know I say that a lot but it's a really tough thing to do and I'm noticing just how consistent I have to be pigeon stretch is fantastic try to keep the hip the hips square the knee at 90 degrees and just really feel your body and breathe 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 couch stretch one of the biggest keys for me is that back glute staying flexed so as you see as I'm leaning forwards like this it's really easy to let that back glute relax but you really want it tight as if it's flexed that you can it's a stiff muscle not stiff but it's it's flex is the best way to put it so you could really feel the hip flexor working and you could really feel the rectus femoris getting stretched which is a deep part of your quad muscle here I'm doing some pulses to try to increase my range of motion but again flex that black black back glute as much as you can keep it flexed. All right, so after this first day, the next day I was filming for my dunk project workouts and I was doing the workouts and I started to say, you know what, let's see if I can get a couple dunks down. By the way, stevenselli.com, my website, you can find all my free workouts, my instant jump tech six week program to master your technique and the dunk project. Learn more if you want. So the day after a full jump session, I was just trying on this super tough rim and you'll see how I did here. Ah, that felt good. There we go. Hey, not bad for uh, Rusty McRusterson. Uh, thick, it's only been a couple weeks of actually jumping. I feel like I'm disconnected from my legs, so we're getting that back. But I'm happy to be able to dunk on this freaking hard ass rim. So we're back, feeling cool, and excited to uh, be flying again. Gotta stay disciplined on that drop step and just do whatever, you get the deal. What's up? I'm telling you, this puppy's up there. Exact, oh. Exactly 10 feet, but it feels stiff. It's like 10 feet on the dot, but that boy feels up there. I'm telling you. Oh, weak as can be, but I'll take it. So I was happy with that session, and then the next day I'm like, you know what, I'm really gonna leave it up to see how I feel. Do I feel fatigued? I'm gonna go to the gym and recover, but I was like, if I have energy, I'm gonna push it with the heavy lifts. And that's what I did. I got 225 pounds on the RDL, pushing that hamstring, carving new patterns, remolding tissue. It's a nonstop, relentless pursuit to get my body in the shape I know it can get in, and that is climbing the mountain. How hard are you willing to push yourself? How high do you believe you can push your potential? That's what I'm all about. Thanks for sharing this journey. I'm so pumped to get these game dunks, to get back to dunking. Let's freaking go. I'm going to New York. I'll see you there. Hey, that's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!